Hello Scorpio, my name is Alison and you are with Healing Dove Tarot. Today we're going to have a look at the love energy surrounding you from the 5th of June until the 17th of June. So let's get started. Thank you universe, thank you angels. Please give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Scorpio in love from the 5th of June until the 17th of June. Okay, so we have the tower. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Hanged Man in Reverse, the Eight of Wands, two more cards please, Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Page of Cups. Okay. So I'm not surprised to see that. Scorpio, we do have the Three of Swords. So Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak, of feeling um, uh, literally heartbroken. So in this card, it's depicted, as you can see, the birds literally have swords going through them. Um, and I can see with the other cards that are on the deck that some of you have gone through a breakup. Um when it comes to love and if this does apply to you um i send you all my love and energy um it's not a nice card there could have been a third party involved but um what i'm really seeing here is um a lack of communication of needs and wants okay scorpio so the Three of Swords is coupled with the Tower, so something's actually happened in terms of love. It's broken your foundation. Someone's, um, you know, it's coupled with the Five of Pentacles, left you out in the cold, walked away from you. Um, I don't have the Eight of Cups on the board, so I'm not seeing this emotional detachment yet. What I am seeing is that um, perhaps you need to see things from a different perspective, okay? You do have the Eight of Wands. It's talking about communication coming in thick and fast and actually... Um, hearing from this person again and in terms of um, star signs I am seeing uh, earth energy for you so uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn I'm also seeing water energy so Cancer um, Scorpio Pisces um, yeah it's, it's about you needing to change perspective okay so for, for those of you that this doesn't apply to, please watch your rising sign, but it's a very clear message for someone. Um, there's been an argument. Someone's left. Um, it's shaken up the foundation. And if you haven't left, then you're talking about leaving. And at the moment, you're, you're feeling pretty low, okay? And the hangman is really asking you to see things from a different perspective before you communicate, okay? So take a breather before you act. Actually try and see things from their perspective. Try and understand where they're coming from. Um, before you put anything into motion um, and it's coupled with the page of pentacles the three of wands and the page of cups so there definitely could be it's the three coming up again three parties involved um, there could be yourself as as the water sign this could be showing up there could be a partner as an earth sign and then there could be a fire sign that's in the middle because that, that's exactly how i'm seeing it on the cards okay and for others of you this could just represent um two choices maybe you're the one that's actually thinking about cheating or have walked away because you're you've you've been building something slowly with someone else and you're not sure which path to take okay and if that is the case for you whoever that message applies to um, please just take your time thinking before you act before you communicate this um, because I do see an apology coming in through here okay the page of cups can speak about a message of love but it generally talks about something of emotion and in this case I see it being an apology um, 
for others of you, it could be about rebuilding your relationship into something with a bit of a firmer foundation. And for those that you are in happy relationships and it might not be such as dire, like a complete breakup, it could pertain to like a house move or, or a feeling of lack of loss or money, or maybe one of you's lost their job um, and you're really feeling it and you're putting pressure on your partner and therefore that's why you're arguing. Okay. And if this is the case, really change your perspective. I know you're going through a tough time, but try and see it from their side as well and, and the impact that that could be having on them. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to draw for you an additional guidance card. Thank you. Please show me what are the additional messages for the sign of Scorpio in love from the 5th of June to the 17th of June. Please show me. Scorpio in love from the 5th of June to the 17th of June. Oh my goodness it couldn't be more prevalent um <clears throat> it says choose your battles yeah so it was exactly what i was saying about trying to see things from a different perspective if you are bickering and fighting uh for some of you and i'll read you the actual uh, meaning of the card um this is the seven of wands in traditional tarot okay for those that read as well and understand and it says conviction resistance defense and evaluate as much as you'd like all of your relationships to be harmonious this is not always the case beliefs and opinions clash and each person struggles to validate his or her position sometimes it's important to take a stand and assert your convictions however this attitude may be misread as aggression and the other person may push back you then feel the need to justify yourself it becomes a cycle of confronting and defending, which can be exhausting and damaging to the relationship. Are you currently engaged in conflicts with others or even with yourself? If so, it's time to evaluate your situation. If you believe strongly in your position and know that the outcome will serve everyone's highest good, stand your ground. If being the victor is truly not worth the discord, consider letting it go. Don't allow the desire to win to prolong a battle that is unnecessary. Okay, Scorpio, so if this is over something that in the long run, like is anyone really going to remember it, then the advice of this card is to really let go um, and perhaps see things from a different perspective. Um, that is your reading. I hope it has helped you. If it has, please like, share and subscribe and leave me a comment below. Um, I just want to give a bit of a shout out for those that have reached out and had private and personal readings with me. It's always um, an honor to do that for you. It's part of why I do these readings on YouTube so that I can use my gift and help others. So thank you for those that have reached out. Um, and it's nice to know that my predictions have been accurate. Um, for those of you that are considering um, having a reading with me, my special is still up um, for new customers on YouTube until I hit a thousand subscribers and we're almost there. So get in quick because they're pretty reasonable um, and I'd love to help you. All right, uh, if not, I'll see you at the new moon readings. Thanks and take care.